Welcome to Mock Exam Part 1. In this exam, there are 10 tracings. Each case is of about 1 minute. First 30 seconds to interpret tracing and in next 30 seconds answer will be shown. Let's start. A 32-year-old male, professional athlete, came with this EKG. Try to spot the findings and make a diagnosis. Answer will be explained after 30 seconds. It's a 12-lead surface ECG with a standard calibration and paper speed of 25 mm per second. There is a P wave followed by a narrow QRS complex. Then there is a broad QRS complex which has no preceding P wave, rate is slower, around 55 beats per minute. When the heart rate increases to 75 beats per minute, QRS complexes become narrow again, so it's sinus arrhythmia, with competing sinus and idioventricular pacemakers. Note that sinus capture occurs when the sinus rate exceeds the idioventricular rate. He is a healthy 32-year-old professional football player with likely very high resting vagal tone causing intermittent idioventricular rhythm. A 55-year-old male came with chest pain for last two hours. What are the findings in this tracing? That's extensive anterior wall myocardial infarction. Massive ST elevation is present throughout the precordial leads and high lateral leads. It is seen in proximal LAD occlusion and indicates a large territory infarction. He needs urgent revascularization. A 20-year-old boy with history of syncope came with this EKG. Try to spot the findings in his tracing and make a diagnosis. Answer will be explained after 30 seconds. Note the epsilon wave which is the most specific finding, seen in 30% of patients with ARVC. There are T wave inversions in V1 to V3. Prolonged S wave upstroke of 55 milliseconds in V1 to V3. Also note the localized QRS widening of 110 milliseconds in V1 to V3.
All these findings are consistent with diagnosis of arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia. A 16-year-old girl with palpitations. What are the findings in this EKG? Answer will be explained after 30 seconds. It's a narrow complex tachycardia at a rate of about 110 beats per minute. Note the P waves. These are inverted in 2, 3 and AVF, and upright in V1 and AVR. PR interval is short, less than 120 milliseconds which indicates a junctional rather than an atrial focus. So the diagnosis is junctional tachycardia.
Welcome to case number 7. Try to spot the findings and origin of abnormality. A 60-year-old female presented with palpitations. What are the findings in this tracing? Spot the findings in this tracing and make a diagnosis. Answer will be shown after 30 seconds. Spot the findings in this tracing and make a diagnosis. Answer will be shown after 30 seconds. 